Hello, I'm going to do the general reading for January 12th. And happy birthday to those of you that have a birthday today. And I have a birthday today. It's my birthday today, so I'm pretty excited to see what the cards have to say. I will be doing a birthday reading at the end of this reading. I will put a timestamp down below if you'd like to fast forward to that. Um, also, this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. Let's see. Get my coffee. Mm. Good. All right, so the world card popped out. So the world card represents success, so definitely happy about that. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the King of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups, we have Temperance, we have Two of Wands, we have the Magician, and we have the Three of Swords. I feel like it's not a Capricorn reading unless there's this, this energy and then this energy, it's like... <laughs> I feel like it's sort of always all over the place. So, <coughs> all right. So we've got Four of Pentacles, the World, and the Ten of Swords. I feel maybe today that you're finally able to release some of those things that you're holding back. I feel like you're finally able to move forward, that you're finally able to let go of things. Um, you've been holding on to some things, you've been blocking some energy, but I feel like with the world card having popped out, you know, just falling out of the deck is saying, you know, here I am, is that success is on its way, victory is on its way. It's not something that's going to happen overnight, but this is a process that you're doing of releasing these things, of moving on, moving forward, getting past some things. You've got the Ten of Swords here, um, which is opposite of the Four of Pentacles, so I feel like it's saying that you're going to be able to release, you're going to be able to let go, that things are going to start falling in place for you. Things are going to start happening. It's not going to be something overnight. It's not going to be like, you know, one day you wake up and all of a sudden you're magically in the world where, you know, you were imagining. But I feel like it's a process that you've been doing. It's a process that you've been going, going through that you have been trying to improve things in your, your life, in, you know, your everyday your general outlook and I feel like those things are, are coming true and it's putting you in a positive space and it's making those things come true because that's what you want. It's going to take some patience, it's going to take some compromise, it's going to be a little of this and a little of that but I feel like things are definitely going to fall into place and you're going to be able to move on from this heartbreak and this distance. I feel like maybe you've distanced yourself from others because you were going through some things, you were feeling some things, you were sort of working out things by yourself, you just wanted to be alone, you didn't want to be, you know, surrounded by other people because feeling that pressure, you just wanted to work things out on your own. Um, and I feel that that's done you a lot of good and it's helping you to release some of those things, to process things. and. That's part of becoming stronger and growing is facing those things that you don't really want to face, dealing with those that hurt and that heartbreak that you don't really want to deal with, but you have to in order to move forward because you have to acknowledge it and then you can process it and then you can move forward. It's about finding that magic, finding that power, finding that inner confidence and taking those first steps to moving forward and you've got the the globe, the world is here. The world is yours, okay? The world is yours. You're taking those first steps to releasing these things and to making things happen and We've got the King of Cups right in the middle. The King of Cups is somebody who is very kind, who's very gentle, somebody who goes with the flow. Um, there could be a King of Cups coming in for you. 
Um, there could be a King of Cups who's a big support system for you, who's there for you, who has helped you get through these things and has stood by your side. Um, it's almost like this, the Nine of Cups, she's staring right at this King of Cups. So it could be somebody that you are looking up to. It could be somebody that has helped you. Um, it could be somebody that you're dreaming of, you know, maybe this is your Prince Charming that you're, you're, you're dreaming of or your, your partner that you want to, you know, come in, you're dreaming of, you know, having this person come in for you. And you can put your energy into that now because you've worked on letting go of these other things, of these past relationships, these things that um, weren't working out. I feel like today is a strong... A strong day, a good day. A confident day. The magician represents believing in yourself. And I feel like today is a day that you really believe in yourself, like you're really proud of your accomplishments. And you should be. You always should be. I know that for me, like I like to hear positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is what drives me. You know, um, you know, some people work on the negative, you know, and that is what drives them to push them harder. But for me, it's the positive. And that's why I like doing the tarot is because I felt like it was positive. I, I listen to readers who give that positive message that things are going to be okay, that things are going to move forward, that um, I just f feel like that's, for me, that's what I, what I needed. And that's what I like to do with my readings is focus on the positive and that energy and about releasing what doesn't work and that kind of energy is those are the type of readings that I like. You never know what the cards are going to say but again that's where I, where I like to focus on. All right we have the Ten of Wands perfect again that's what I was saying from the beginning is I feel like you're today as you are releasing some things, you're moving forward. You've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Tens are completion. So I feel like you're going to feel lighter today. We have the Hermit that represents Virgo. And again, I said I felt like you were taking that time to yourself that you wanted to focus on things and process things. And then we have Seven of Swords. Some things didn't work out, and that's okay, because you're taking what you need, and you're leaving what you don't need behind. And I feel like that's basically what this reading is about, is about taking what you need, taking what's going to work for you, and bringing that into this new year. Because we're still, you know, at the beginning of 2021 and bringing that positive energy, those things, into this year. All right, so let's see. We have a fortune reading card. World, that's exactly, I saw this, the, the globe here, and I was looking at that, and I said, you have the world. World, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. All right, that doesn't say it any better. There's that connection again as I was focusing on that and the world, you have the world. We started with the world card. Look at that and we're ending with the world card. So I feel like this is a strong message. You've got the world card here, world card here, and the globe here. You have the world. It's endless possibilities. It's success and it's victory and it's things that you're working towards and you're taking those steps to those first steps to get to where you want to be. You're releasing those things that don't work. Um, you've been keeping to yourself and you've been processing things and now is the time for those rewards to come in and making those wishes come true. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time. And now I'm going to do the birthday reading for today. All right.
right, so I'm going to do the birthday reading for today, which is January 12th. And like I said at the beginning of the main reading, today is also my birthday. So I hope you have some fun plans for today. I know I do. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. We have Antelope Spirit. Life is speeding up. Love that. And that's what I kind of got from the main reading is that you've done the work and now is the time to move forward and things are starting to fall into place. Let's see. Let's use the So what do we have for Capricorn today for January 12th for the birthday reading? Who needs to hear a message? We have Seven of Cups. We have the Devil, so that's the Capricorn card, so I feel like it's a reading for Capricorn. We have the High Priestess. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Empress. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Cups. We've got the Queen of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups is below the Seven of Cups, so something is emotional. S emotions. You're thinking about things from the past. I feel like it has to do with the Queen of Wands because it's almost like this, this Queen of Cups is looking down on this Queen of Wands. There's something that's going on, but you have to listen to your inner voice. There's something that's overwhelming you. There's something that's bothering you. There's something that's on your mind, and you're looking for answers, and it's emotional for you, but you have to listen to your, your, your inner voice. You have to listen to those feelings that, you know how like when somebody asks you a question and your first response, your first answer is that, that's your gut feeling. That's what you need to go with. And that's what you need to do in this in this situation. There's something that's bothered you. Something happened. I feel like it has to do with the Queen of Wands. Um, or somebody who is... Somebody who is controlling and smothering. There's somebody that's smothering you. There's somebody that's... been overwhelming you. I feel like this right in the middle is what the trouble is because you got five of swords and the queen of wands and then I feel like this is how you're feeling. You're feeling emotional. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling like you have all these choices. Um, it could be a third party situation where there's somebody else involved in your life that you don't want involved in your life. But I feel like this row here is your answer. It's listening to your inner voice and it's about letting things go and moving on. And that brings you a lot of growth and that brings you freedom. That brings you the, the answers that you're looking for and it brings you that strength. To deal with this situation so for some of you I feel like there's something that you have going on that you've been dealing with that's been overwhelming you and it has to do with somebody who's been controlling and 
has been holding you down and has been making you emotional but I feel like today you're going to have the clarity to find those answers like you're going to look within and you're going to finally make that decision to release this and let go whether it's leaving this person and like this bottom row could be that you are moving on from this relationship with this person and it makes you happy or it could be that you decide to forgive this person and leave that hurt behind you and work on your relationship with this person. So it's really about what do you want to do with this person. Because right in the middle of the reading we have the Five of Swords. And you've got these this person behind you, this person like going off in the clouds and you're looking this way and they're looking that way. And there's like a sword on the ground with two arrows in it. So I feel like there's been some disagreements and like a falling out. That card literally went flying. Again, look at that. We have the high priestess on the on the same row on the other side. This is just temporary, okay? Whatever it is that you're going through, it's just temporary. Um, again, it's the cards are saying, again, listen to your inner voice about this situation. If you have to look to a higher power, go ahead and do that. Or if you have to confide in friends that you feel are really close and that you can trust, go ahead and do that. Um, to find those answers to release and let go. Um, I feel like you've been searching for answers, but I feel like the answers to the situation have been right in front of you the whole entire time. Like it's been there, but you haven't seen it. Like the signs have been there. And they've been trying to say something, but you haven't been listening. And I feel like today is the day that you finally hear it. And you get those answers to deal with this situation. All right. We have marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Well, that's a positive. <laughs> I just feel like for for someone out there, there's a message, like this message wanted to come out to say that you have the answers and they're in front of you and you know what you need to do and for you to take those steps and to not be overwhelmed by this, that this is just temporary and that you're going to be able to figure this out and move forward. And once you do that, once you've released that, once you've let that go, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love because you are no ha no longer hanging on to this Five of Swords and this Queen of Wands. And also the devil is, I feel like it, it could be, you know, it could be addictions, um, but it also could represent, you know, that addiction of always thinking of the negative and always being in that darker place and always looking at those bad things and or being maybe addicted to this relationship where there's somebody controlling in your life and you've, you're feeling like almost trapped because you're in this relationship with this person, you know, whether it's a friendship or business partnership or whatever this relationship is, if this relates to you, then you understand what I'm saying is that you're feeling trapped and you're feeling like you can't get out of it. And it could also represent just your maybe your life in general is that you're feeling trapped, you're feeling like you're in that hamster wheel and you're feeling like you can't get out of it and it's always going to be the same and you're wondering, oh my gosh, is this what the rest of my life is going to be, is being on this hamster wheel, is just getting up, going to work, coming home, eating, going to bed, getting up, going to work, you know, being on that, that hamster wheel and you're just really wondering, especially with this being your birthday and wondering, you know, is, is this what life is? But I feel like you have to release yourself from that. You have to look to those, that, that 
that inner self knowing that no this isn't it this is just this chapter of your book that right now this is what you're going through and that things are going to get better and that you are going to move on from this hamster wheel feeling and that changes are coming but right now in this chapter of this book that you're in this is just temporary this is what you need to do in order to move forward um, in order to get to this place of celebration um, you know we all have different our lives have you know certain chapters and this is the chapter and don't be overwhelmed by this chapter even though you may be frustrated and this is maybe not a chapter you really want to deal with but our first card out was life is speeding up and that's because I feel like you are able to move on from this chapter you're moving on from this chapter this year I've always felt that that things are definitely going to change and maybe you know this is the year for you know you are attracting that emotional fulfillment and unconditional love it could be from another person it could just be finding that right job or it's about loving yourself you know being happy and enjoying each day for what it is and not always looking towards to the next chapter like you know how some people get a book and they want to read the last page you know but it's not about reading the last page it's about getting through all of those chapters and all those pages from the beginning to the end and I feel that this message is just saying hang in there and you know that it I was just looking at this card and she has a book here does she she might have she has a paper there which I didn't see that when I was saying that about the book but um, yeah so it's about you ha you know within that things are going to get better and things are going to be okay and that this is just temporary and don't be frustrated by it and I know that for some people you know having your birthday it can be a little overwhelming I know uh, my birthday I'm like what I'm how can I be this old <laughs> there was a lot more I wanted to do but you know you can't let that get to you and you just have to enjoy what's going on and sometimes it does feel like a hamster wheel that you're on but I feel like that's just a phase and that there's going to be some changes coming in and don't be overwhelmed by that and you can get past this you know it's about moving forward and then believing that you already know the answers and this is just temporary all right happy birthday to you thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time